Okay, so this might sound crazy, but hear me out. I put Gel X on my toes. Yes, is that weird? I don't know, but it looks damn good, so I'm gonna just rock with it. <laughs> so this is what I have on my toes right now. It's gel. I'm just gonna remove everything and start by removing my diamonds. I absolutely love what I have on my toes now, but because it's matte, it gets dirty so easy that I just have to take it off. So to remove it, I'm super new to this and I was a little scared, but I am using my, uh, I think it's a medium coarse bit. Um, this is a safety bit. Uh, it's a ceramic bit and I'm going to use that to remove the gel polish. You have to be very careful with this, but from what I researched, you want to have the speed up pretty high. I have it on 15, which makes me nervous, but I did it, y'all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to remove the gel polish. I like doing it this way because I don't have to wait for soak off or anything like that. It's just a little bit faster. So once you're done with that, all you should have left is the base coat on your nails. So I'm just going to grab my buffer and buff all my nails just so they have nothing on them. going to go ahead and do my shape up. I'm going to cut them pretty short or file them down pretty short just because I am going to have an extension on all of them. I decided to try all of them because my toenails don't really get that long and I like to have that really nice defined square toenails. So now I'm going to go in with my cuticle softener and I'm going to spray that on and then I'm going to push back the cuticle with this orange wood stick. Toe cuticles are definitely way harder to push back but they're also way more sensitive so just be very careful around this area. Um, take your time especially if you're working on a client. Now I'm going to use my nippers just to trim off any of the skin that came up. Remember to only trim skin that is not living. You have to be very careful not to cut yourself. This is something that obviously takes so much practice. Um, so yeah, just be very careful around these sensitive areas.
So I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of alcohol and you guys see how clean my toes are. I love cleaning toes. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and size. Um, I don't know if this is going to work for everybody's toes, but for mine personally, I use a zero on my big toe and then I use a bunch of, uh, I think it's like 9, 10, and 11 for the rest of my toes. So I'm going to do it just like I do on my fingernails. I'm going to rough up the inside. I'm going to prime and do all that stuff. So you guys can watch. Everything's the same. This is my prep and dehydrator. I'm just going to apply the dehydrator as well as the primer, and then we can start adding the nails. So of course I'm going to do a thin coat of base gel and then we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. And now we can start applying the extensions. I'm going to apply some base gel to my nail tip and then we're just going to do the same exact thing. Start at around the cuticle area and then just press it down it's actually so so easy and if you guys are wondering what tips I'm using they are the sport square from Enel Couture so they are very short obviously on my toes they're super long but on the fingernails they are kind of short um, so these are like the perfect ones to use for toes Okay, once they're all done, we can cut them down. This part's fun, because now you can shape them to however long or short you want them. I keep mine pretty short, um, just because I still wear shoes most of the day. And if they're too long, they're really gonna hurt the sides of your other toes. Like, all your toes are just gonna hurt each other. So um, keep them pretty short, put some shoes on, test them out, see what works for you. And then, um, yeah, shape them and file them accordingly. So I'm just going to make sure they're all even and then I'm going to buff off the shine so we can get them ready for painting. So 
so the color that I'm using is this really pretty pink Jalac nail polish, which I will link down below also. It's a really taupey nude color, but it has like these little gold, not gold, silver reflexes in them. So that's the same color that I have on my nails. So I'm just putting it on my toes. I usually do about two coats and then a top coat. So that's it. I'm going to bring up my other foot just so I can kind of compare them. And then from there, I'm just going to shape them to match each other, basically. just going to apply my cuticle oil everywhere and just really rub it in our ashy toes and then that's it I hope you guys enjoy this video I know it seems crazy but I think it looks amazing so I'm really not tripping so yeah um, I hope you found this video helpful especially for people with short toenails that just want to have them longer yeah and even look really guys this looks great I'll chip in. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.